Niggas don't want to shout this nigga out, but this is the funny blogger, maybe in life. Salute the battle truth, man. I don't give a fuck with nobody. Hey, this nigga is one of the funniest niggas on the face of the earth. What, what about a dude named Battle Truth? You ever heard of him? Battle Truth. I think Battle Truth, he tells it from his perspective. He, he, I've seen some of his stuff. I'm not familiar with all of it. But I think <laughs> that nigga's that, funny. He, he's funny. He, <laughs> I think in the beginning, because I remember when I first started seeing him, <laughs> he, tried, he tried to have this judge theme. And I think he realized just being straight up was the best thing for him. You know he's I mean? himself. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, but it's. Yeah, yeah, nah, so, nah, so, so. nah, but but he's hilarious. Battle nah, truth. he's wild, hilarious. He's also got his own thing. You feel what I'm he's saying? He's mad funny. You know what I mean? So but like you, with, with him though, another thing with him, like, and I'm not talking bad about him. I respect him. I like him. I, mm -hmm. I watch his channel. I watch. I watch like him. A judge and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. I, I go to his <laughs> channel. I, I, I can say myself before I go to anything else. You go to battle truth first. I go to battle truth first. I'm being honest. That's crazy. I want to see what you talk about. How he's saying it, but. this up okay battle truth on youtube you are one of my official go-to sources as you know i'm still involved in battle rap behind the scenes this is all because i don't see him at battles i don't know if he goes to battles so <laughs> he gets sources legend. somewhere i think it's a legend man he don't <laughs> need to go saying? to battles he's just a legend i don't even know where day. he lives where does he live i don't, like, know, man. I don't know i think we're walking <laughs> that nigga ill so he's a legend he just don't give a fuck that nigga's in a judge outfit nigga yeah. And he yells, no, no, no. <laughs> Nigga blacked out. I saw <laughs> shit today. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always losing. Where's my damn gavel at? Dang it. Hold on. Hold on. Here! Take it! Take it! Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 man. Get up out of here with that trash, man. No, man. Yo, yo, we need order in the court. I can't, I can't put up with this. Objective. Please, please tell me that didn't happen to no Andrew. Car before, bro. That nigga a meat rider, bro. You can't tell me that you think that nigga ain't a meat rider. No, 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 no. What's that to salute? You bang your hammer when nobody's around. Let's give this battle truth. Battle truth for liar. Battle truth for liar. That tranny rumor was not for real. On these stages. I only do what I have to do. I make this shit look like magic, too. As far as words, I get it all done with one spark of the fall. I talk through the nose like battle truth. I put my hands on that little girl, and y'all seen the proof, the paperwork, the video. But y'all unbiased review is to accept them weirdos cover story and make me battle truth and for You remind me of Sean Brown with the rapping, dude. You get on cam and say more stupid shit than battle truth. Example. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> 15 minutes of fame, they won't promote your content. They said the battle truth is that rock a pipe of boy and they did a blog about it. Yeah, so tell Tech 9, I use his microwave to heat up these biscuits, battle truth. Y'all do your blogs, but never mention how I be beating these bitches. Fire! I'll knock you out, then stop you out till you snag a tooth. Pull out the gun, raise you up, just to pop one in you like battle truth. Yeah! 
And it's true. At first, I was a fan, but now I'm angry. And you've been up here doing all that cap. Y'all niggas crucified battle truth. Even when he provided proof, y'all said he was lying. Norb's casting couch like Harvey Weinstein, but he didn't try to deny. What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Along with my lovely, beautiful, sexy co-host, Miss Jess. What's up, what's up, beautiful people? Yeah, got a lot of things to talk about. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Let me see let's talk episode. battle rap. Let's talk. Put up a poll. Who is the best battler in the world? The description is you, you gonna change the description? What's the description? You don't see it? I could change that. That ain't nothing. All right. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's have at it. Who is the best battler in the world? Really? This is very interesting. This is terrible. Whoever <laughs> put this list together, y'all is terrible. Don't know nothing about battle rap. I don't like this list at all. It is terrible. It's terrible. Talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about this list. Look at this list. Who all on this list, man? This is, you need to be slapped by every damn body in battle rap. So, Rum Nitty is leading in the votes. I guess so. You ain't got the right damn list up. Maybe if you put up the right list, he wouldn't be leading in all the votes. Thanks. They're going to show you what this list really means. Because ain't nobody who know battle rap going to look at Rum Nitty as being the best battle rapper in the world. Yeah. And I don't want nobody saying, well, they talking about right now. They talking about period because Loaded Lux on here, okay? And Loaded Lux ain't battled in years, okay? Loaded That's Lux on this list. So we're not going to play these games. Yeah. With that being said, they even got King Bow on this list. You definitely need to be slapped by everybody in damn battle rap. King Bow, stop playing. They got Chef Trez on here. No disrespect to Chef Trez, but come on, man. You would never hear nobody say that in battle rap. If you put together, if you put together the greatest battle rappers in the world and even put 50 on there, his name ain't going to show up. I'm sorry. Not going to happen. The Saurus, no, sorry, absolutely not. Let's go through this list, man. Let's start from the bottom. They got Danny Myers on here. Okay, Danny Myers definitely is an honorable mention. He definitely is one of them Hall of Famers who actually put in a lot of work. But to be the greatest battle rapper in the world, he lacked, he lacked the stage presence, cadence, um, needed to actually be an overall total package lyrically wise he a killer and i believe he got probably more classic than anybody in battle rap literally him and dna um he definitely a good honorable mention so it's also disaster he's a good honorable mention in this you know Disaster put in a lot of work. And when you're talking about diversity and opening up all the different um, continents and to battle rap, he definitely is one of those dudes who represent on a whole different dynamic when it comes to battle rap. So, shouts out to Disaster on that. I actually got him at the King of the Midwest. I got him, not Midwest, the West Coast. I got him at the king of the West Coast. You know, he beat Danny Meyer for that title. And I'm going to represent it to the truth until somebody prove otherwise when it comes to that West Coast. Sirius Jones, definitely a Hall of Famer. I don't consider him as being one of the greatest battle rappers in the world, even though I like his new style he, he got now. I like that. He one of my most exciting battle rappers to watch right now. Shouts out to Sirius Jones. <laughs> Desaurus. Again, another one of those persons who put in a lot of work. A lot of people consider him as being a Hall of Famer. 
to battle rap, but I definitely don't see him. In, he shouldn't be on this list at all. Chef Tread shouldn't be on this list at all. Loaded Lux, I'm going to keep it 100. I like Lux to some degree. He shouldn't be on this list at all, neither. When we talking about greatest battle rapper in the world, um, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. He can because I believe impact play a big part in this. And I think Lux had a tremendous impact on battle rap. He actually did. He had a big impact on battle rap. Um, and had one of the biggest viral moments ever in battle rap history. So I definitely uh, put him on that list. King Bow, absolutely not. JC, even though he's solid, he he lacked the tangibles needed to be considered as one of the best battle rappers in the world. So I wouldn't put him on that neither. Surf shouldn't be on this list neither. Even though he got a uh 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 a big fan base and he very popular. And when we talking about impact on battle rap, he's not the person. He lose over 70% of his battles. He don't really give you three rounds. And just before he got indicted, he so-called started taking his career serious and gave up maybe three to four battles without, without, um, I mean, three, four battles with a third round. But, you know, that's part of your job. Ain't no such thing as going years and years without a third round because you re you just don't respect the game. So he definitely disqualified when it comes to that as being the greatest battle rapper in the world. Like I said, he lose 70% of his battles. So we're not going to play them games. Ill Will, definitely a great battle rapper, but I don't think he belong on the list of being the greatest battle rapper in the world. One of the great, you know, he put in a lot of work. He do a lot of things. Ill will is good at what he do. Fire. But we talking about impact. We talking about battle rapping in the world. We talking about impact. And even though he's solid and good and fire and don't play and he one of those killers, I just don't believe he had an impact on the game of battle rap. Daylight. Same thing for him. He sabotaged himself when it comes to battle rap. He definitely... Uh, 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 not caring, destroyed a lot of battles as a result of his playing, his um props. He just sabotaged his career terribly, terribly. He shouldn't be on this list neither, even though when he won a rap, he one of the best two can do it. But when you're looking at, again, overall impact, consistency, and in the game, I just can't put him there because – he did a lot of foul play. He did a lot of foul play. It shouldn't be on this list at all. Big K. And I'm giving y'all the real. I'm not going off a fan. I'm giving y'all the real truth. This is the real battle truth breakdown. This is real. He shouldn't. Big K, again, Hall of Famer, definitely put in a lot of work. I don't look at him as being one of the, he shouldn't even be in this category. Uh, being one of the best battle rappers in the world he shouldn't be in the category you know even though you know he's solid i'm gonna say he's solid but no he shouldn't be in the category geechee Gotti definitely got the accolades needed to be in the conversation so i can see why he up here uh he definitely got three champion of the year titles a few best performers of the night rings so he definitely got the accolades and the uh, trophies to actually back up an argument. He definitely should be in this category and conversation. He one of the ones that always took the champion of the year serious and why he got so many of them. Um, and he actually put in the work, man. He won competitions and everything, man. So shouts out to Geechee. He belong on this list. I get him that. New Jersey twerk. This bittersweet to some degree. I don't think when it comes to battle rap, you can really compare to the impact he brought to battle rap. Rap His impact and influence on battle rap is crazy. Where you got basically the majority of the whole community imitating and copying you and trying to be like you and twerk, twerk bouncing and twerk rhymes and setups and his influence and impact on the game is crazy. So I can see how he could be here. However, he sabotaged his career a whole lot. 
A lot of battles he didn't take serious. He choked a lot, forgot his rounds, recycling. So a lot of things hurt him, but he's definitely one of those ones who could be in the conversation because his impact alone on the game was unlike any other battle rapper. I don't think there have been any battle rapper in battle rap who had this type of influence on the game besides um, maybe Mook and Cassidy. Maybe Mook and Cassidy, keeping it real. Tay Rock, solid. Solid battle rapper, Gunbar King. Um, he one of those dudes, man. He he just a killer. He a bona fide killer. I can see him in the argument, man. I can see him in the argument. Shouts out to him. I see him in the argument. He definitely got an argument. Easy versus easy to block captain. He should not be on this list. He should not be on this list at all. He just got hot two years ago. He ain't put in enough work, okay? We're not going to do that. He shouldn't be on this list because you hot right now. No. And they be literally capping for him, giving him wins he don't deserve that he didn't win, that he didn't win in. I don't like that type of stuff. Lying for a brother. No, you got to earn it here. You don't just get free win because you popular. That's the same thing they were doing to surf because they liked them so much. They're forcing wins on them. Same thing they're doing to easy right now. No. You have to earn those wins. He shouldn't be on this list. He ain't did enough. So he definitely shouldn't be on this list. Last but not least, Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty, again, another bona fide killer. Won, won a tournament. Won champion of the year. I definitely could see him in the argument. But the people, it was crazy. The people they left off the list is actually better than everybody on the list. I'm just keeping it real. That's what's crazy about this list, that the one they left off the list is better than everybody on the list. And I'm just keeping it 100. Now, what you want, you want to say something about that, sis, before I go off into who they left off the list? Um, I think... I was waiting until you finished talking because I, I this, you a hard act to follow. So let me let you finish. They took Murder Mook off the list. The logo. Mr. Mr. Probably only lost one battle in his entire career. Who been dominating the game as of lately, just knocked off three of the so-called best giants in the game. He 30 Geechee Gotti. He 30 Tay Rock and he 30 Big K. Mm -hmm. And you got this man off the list when this man is literally the logo of battle rap. Jess, I was in prison in 2006. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about Mook. Mook from New York. In 2006, they were talking about this dude. He was only like 17, 18 years old. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even heard of the man. I mean, a name for himself. They, look, his name buzzing in prison. In prison, when I got out of when I got out of prison, I told my cousin, I said, "You ever heard of some battle rapper named Murder Mook?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Man, put him on. Let me see him because I used to hear about him in prison. Man, let me see how good this dude is." He played him for me on YouTube when I got out. I was like, "Oh, that's who they were talking about in prison." And this Milwaukee. And that man was a teenager back then, buzzing like that. Like, come on, man, we're not going to play these games. You left him off. Then you left off his cousin, T-Rex, one of the greatest battle rappers of all times, impact on the game crazy, hmm. destroying people. His catalog is crazy. And he kept the East Coast alive when the Midwest movement was destroying and de crushing anything in battle rap. Mm. T-Rex kept New York alive. He kept Philly alive. He kept Jersey alive. He represented the East Coast and er when everybody else died. He stopped that St. Louis movement all by himself when they were destroying everybody. 
He beat all three of the top guys on top of their game. Hitman, Verb, Young, Ill. When they was all on top of their game. No, we not playing these games. No, we not doing that. Then you left off. You left off Verb. Let's just be honest. Yeah, right now you can talk about him because he he playing too many games and, 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 and got too comfortable and relaxed. But when you look at that brother body of work and what he did, come on, man. These brothers y'all left off the list better than everybody on the list. Right. I'm talking about these brothers' impact on the game was crazy. That Midwest movement changed battle rap forever and made it popular to the point that it exploded every region and made Smack a millionaire. That's when he started making all the money. That's when he came out with Summer Madness, the biggest event of the year in battle rap. Summer Madness is the biggest event of the year in battle rap in the whole country. Bigger than anything from any other battle league. Is it the Super Bowl a battle rap? And that came as a result of the Midwest movement that was being ushered in by the St. Louis, Detroit, Chicago movement that was actually destroying everything on the East Coast where Rex kept it alive when everybody else was dying. It took off Charlie Clips, who came in to assist after the Midwest movement came in afterwards. But he went on like a two to three year run of straight dominance. We're not going to play these games, man. How are you leaving them brothers off the list? How DNA off the list? How Arsenal off the list? How Hitman Holler off the list? The most viewed battle rapper ever in battle rap history as far as like in this country. Because we got to be clear on that. Because those people in other countries, oxymoron them, they destroy these American numbers, okay? But I'm saying in this country, Hitman Holly is the biggest viewed battle rapper in the United States, okay? Memorable classic moments, back to back to back to back to back. And why he a star on Wilding Out right now? Because Nick Cannon got a hold of that mm -hmm. man's footage and was like, oh, dude, the truth. Let's get him. Right. How you leave that brother off like that? How do you leave Arsenal off, who also got the most views ever and one of the first guys to actually take battle rap on the road in all type of states and countries? How you got DNA off the list, who got the highest win percentage probably ever in battle rap history? He got a 90% win success rate and got more battles than anybody in battle rap. So he got the most battles with the highest win percent rate. How you leaving these guys off who impact on the game? How you leaving K Shine out of the game who went on a three year run of dominance, beating the top battle rappers in the game, not losing a round three years straight? Crazy. Hitman Holler, eight year run, uh, uh, just taking his first loss against Cassidy. Not Cassidy against Easy the Black Captain, but before that, on an eight year run. Speaking of eight year run, how you ain't got Jazz the rapper on this list who haven't lost the battle in eight years? A woman, a female, straight dominating. Like, boy, boy, what is wrong with these people? They don't know nothing about battle rap. And you, and again, don't lie and say, well, we're talking about right now, how. If you got the Saurus up here, how if you got Sirius Jones up here? How if you got loaded Lux on here? How? So you mean in period. So we're not gonna play them games. This is terrible. Right. Jeff the rapper should be on that list. Easy. Easy. You got a female that don't lose, who been dominating for eight years straight. Eight years and only take big names. She only take big names. She only take who the biggest and the hottest. And what's crazy, you know what's crazy about her jazz? And mostly all her battles, she the underdog. Even though she on an eight-year run, mostly everybody she go up against, she's the underdog. 
She was the underdog. She, she was the underdog in all those battles in field one. She proved everybody mm -hmm. wrong. No, we're not doing that. That's a terrible list. You know that list so terrible. Look, this is when you know the list is terrible. You actually have people voting for King Bao. You actually have people actually voting for Chef Trez. Like, come on, you sound crazy. Right. Not at all. And to, and to uh, add on to what you're saying, what about Calico? Facts. How you leave Calico off? Again, a guy that didn't kill all the giants. That's another thing. Calico, they never give Calico his credit. They never give Calico his credit. Calico destroyed. Look, it was Calico who put a stop to T-Rex. See, that's the crazy. T-Rex destroyed the St. Louis movement. Mm -hmm. But then he ran into Calico. And it was Calico who, who hurt him. Mm -hmm. It was Calico who stopped Math Run. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? It was Calico who battled Verve for the crown of the Midwest and took that from him. It was Calico who shut Sue Surf down. Mm -hmm. See, they leave all that stuff out. Like, come right. on, man, we're not gonna play them games. And as long we're as it's play them is, you think X Factor they overlook. What about um Miles? Not not when you're talking about greatest in the world. Well, look how long the list is and listen, look who made it. So I think well, so they we, definitely better than a lot of people that's on that list. You right, definitely could said. put X Factor and Midwest Miles on there, uh, uh 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 big T's on there if you put uh King Bow exactly. on there and like right. no stop so it. what I'm saying is you know how you kept asking, like, how are these people making the list? I think to answer your question. Um, it just exposes how long the per the person that made this list. Let's talk battle rap. It exposes how long they've really been covering battle rap um, and blogging, because they literally, I feel like, only representing five years of what a seven seventeen twenty year <laughs> history look like. They're only representing like the last five years. And that's not even real because COVID happened. So 20 from 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, really is just like a blur. They've but, been around yeah. for a while, so they just they just oh, use favoritism. Not. Yeah, they use but favoritism. They go off, they go off favorites. They go off favorites and who they to like. Say world and then not count the whole history. It looks like they only went as as far back as like six years. Facts. I can see that. They seem like that's they only why, going by that. Facts. Facts. Right. So that's that why story. so many people are off that list, given Facts. how far back in history they're trying to really represent the best in the world. But that'll still be terrible because Mook been crushing stuff. Mook been crushing stuff. If you if you if they even going back, that's what I'm saying. That's why I believe it's just favor. It's going off favor. You get what I'm saying? Like. No, like Jazz been smoking. She ain't lost in eight years. Hitman been cooking. Hitman only lost one battle in eight years. Hitman ain't lost, lost before the easy to block captain. Hitman hadn't lost since Surf. That was like eight years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Jazz right. the rap, Jazz the rapper ain't lost in eight years. K Shine three years <laughs> straight, taking on all the best battle rappers in the world. Thirty Rum Nitty, thirty Ab, thirty Rock, thirty. 30 uh the I'm talking about 30 and guys you never would knew would ever get 30. 30 Gotti. Just I'm talking about come on, no. Right. Terrible. No. No. How you leaving Hitman Bird them? How you leaving them off the list? They imp look what's crazy, they impact was greater than anybody on that list except for Loaded Lux. Nobody else uh, and you know nobody else on that whole in, entire list had a greater impact than anybody they left off the list. Okay. I'm talking about from Arsenal, from Rex, from uh, 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 DNA, from K-Shine, from Mook, to Verb, to Hitman Holler, to Charlie Clips. Ain't none of their impacts on that list been greater than theirs. Not one of theirs. Not one of theirs. So just, it, it, it exposes a lot about that, that blogging, 
Kids channel as far as their their genuineness and authenticity. It just exposes. <laughs> yeah, they going off favor. You're right. They going off of how long they've been battle. You're right, sis. They going off how long they've been battle rap blogging. Like, like, like it starts right now. But even if it starts right now, you still gonna be wrong. Or but even if it starts, be wrong. they 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 going back as far as 2016 and up, which is which is not a good good look. That's because that only gives you four years, not including COVID, COVID in present time. 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. That's not a good representation to say the world. They still gonna be wrong though. That's what's crazy. They and they still gonna be wrong. They still gonna yeah. be wrong. So yeah, like, that list on. that list is just um propaganda. Trash. It's good to bring up the conversation. It's it's a good list to talk to get people talking, especially with this this active eight weeks ahead of us. It gives the people something to talk about. But if they, they if they were being serious when they were putting together this list. It's it, it it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Facts, terrible list. Y'all need to be slapped. Y'all need together. to be slapped by every damn body in battle rap. Facts. If they really, if they really genuinely thinking that this is a solid list of who's the best battle rapper in the world, right? The battle in the in world. world. Like, come on, like you said, I'm crazy. We need to bang the the gavel on. Let's talk battle rap, man. Because you're not serious about talking battle rap if you're not willing to go deeper in the history. Fact, Are you serious? You know how many people you're leaving out when you don't go as far back as you need to? That's like talking NBA and only going going as far as seven years in. You're crazy. There's, there's too Fact. much rich, rich history that you're missing out. A whole lot. Facts. Yeah, so it exposes a lot, this list. Yeah, but but it's it's a good conversation starter, and, and get people talking because there's a lot of battles coming up, fifty plus battles coming up, um, and everybody's trying to make a name for themselves. So it's a it's a good conversation starter. But only yep. two people voted for King Bo, though. If you look but that's at, the purpose they voted for him any dang on two only two though he only got two votes now. But we can we can talk about this on another on live or whatever. We can make our our jokes and stuff, but like that. But like, I don't disagree with you. It yeah, like we it. thirty minutes in. I need to shut this down. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> um, with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth, man. Along with my beautiful co-host, the lovely Miss Jess, we appreciate the love and support. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and everything will go well with you in your life. Make no mistake about it. Yes, yes, yes.